Hi everyone, it's me, David. I hope you're having a great day. And here is today's high performance stoicism point. The goal of life. Many of you have a personal lifetime goal or several of them. It's something you can formulate in a sentence or so. Others of you are looking to try to find out what your personal lifetime goal is and you're concerned about not having one. And actually, I think that's a really good sign because it shows you're growing into a new phase of your life, taking that matter seriously. Here are some tips as you proceed to try to figure out what your personal lifetime goal is. First, be patient. You really want to take, it, take your time and find out what goal really fits who you are as a person. Next, you want to think about what things you really enjoy doing and what things you've enjoyed in the past. Third, you want to find out, okay, what things are you good at? And lastly, I think it would be helpful in many cases to talk to other people about you because sometimes other people can see things about us that we ourselves cannot see. As you go on this journey, there's one more tip that I think would help you a great deal, and that is to consider the possibility that distinct from your personal lifetime goal is an objective goal that's given by nature to all human beings. Yes, the idea that there's a single goal that every human has just by being human. And this is something that the Stoics believe. It's important to their philosophy. So they believe that the goal that we all have is to live according to nature or to live, uh, to live in harmony with nature. Those are two different formulations of the Stoic goal of life. So in these two formulations, you can see that nature is really important. So let's explain a bit what it means to follow nature briefly. The first thing that you're going to follow is your human nature. You are a rational being, and so following nature in terms of your humanity is to develop your reason to the highest level possible. And to be clear about what this means, we're talking about developing your reason in action. Yes, the Stoics are philosophers and are quite interested in analyzing concepts, in explaining phenomena, in questioning things, but they also believe that you want to develop your character to the utmost and being virtuous means you are, your rational soul is developed to the highest level. The second thing that's meant by living according to nature is living according to the nature of the universe. And at the core of what makes the universe work, what makes it run so well, although it at times seems doubtful that it's running well, is goes by many names for the Stoics. So they claim that the universe is guided by reason, logos, God, or Zeus. It's given many names, so it seems like the Stoics want us to focus on the thing, whatever that is, rather than the name. So as you're working out your personal lifetime goal, trying to figure out what that is, and as you're starting to live it, keep also in mind to develop your rational self to the highest level and to harmonize with reality and what the Stoics call nature as it is and not as you would like it to be. And I think these two processes, as you'll see, will go hand in hand to give you a much better life. Well, that's today's High Performance Stoicism Point. Like, subscribe, and check out the information below to learn more about high performance stoicism. Have a great day. It's up to you.